Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Code Man Movies. Um, today we are talking about season two of Only Murderers, Murderers in the Building, Murderers in the Building. Um, I blew through the second season a lot faster than I did the first season, so um, yeah, already ready to talk about the next ten episodes of this show. Um, so, like, I, if you didn't see my uh, season one review, um, I really enjoyed this show. It's fun. Um, the chemistry between Selena Gomez, Martin Short, and Steve Martin is phenomenal. Um, you can just tell everyone on set is having a good time. Um, and I really like that, um, as far as a, go a show goes. And I like that they're just people obsessed with true kind podcasts kind of wanting to solve this murder that happened in their building. Um, I just think that's really, really cool and interesting. Um... And so, yeah, I really enjoyed the first season. Um, it was a little slow at parts, but once it got going, I really enjoyed it. Season two um, picks up right where season one ended, um, where the three are kind of being framed for a murder. Um, and then things kind of go from there. Um, and I, I got to say, I was kind of disappointed with season two. There's a lot they throw into this season. I will say that. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I kind of feel like they were talked about and brought up and then just kind of put away for a couple episodes. Um, for example, there's something with, like, a painting um, that happens earlier on in the season, and then it they just don't even really mention the paint painting much. You don't see the painting um, for, like, two or three episodes. And then it kind of comes back, and you're like, oh, yeah, the painting. Um, another thing that happens, too, is um, a, a friend of Mabel. 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 Mabel, 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 Mabel. Um, she is this art uh, artist um, that shows up, played by Cara Delevingne. Um, she's kind of there in a few episodes, and then she's just kind of gone for a few episodes, and then kind of just shows up at the end. And... It's just kind of weird to me. Um, so there's a lot of that going on. There's certain things um, with Teddy and Theo that are just kind of there for a couple episodes, especially like Theo. There was an episode that was a lot more featured with him again, kind of like similar into season one um, with Mabel. Mabel? Mabel? I don't know how you say her name. And he just kind of disappears after that one episode, and it was just weird to me. Um... It felt like they were. It felt like they almost didn't know they were going to get another season or something. So they're like, let's throw everything into this season, and yeah, it just kind of didn't go anywhere with a lot of the the plot points. Or if if it did go somewhere, it just kind of randomly shows up towards the last two episodes. Um, and I will say, the killer for this episode I wasn't exactly a fan of it. I just didn't. I, I don't know. The motivation wasn't necessarily there for me i just i don't know i wasn't in love with it per se um and just some of the twists and turns weren't as satisfying this right time around for me um but the humor was still there um something something i did really like about this one too is it gets more knives outy i guess you could say there's like secret passageways in this apartment building and um um, Steve Martin's stepdaughter is brought into the picture, and I like her character. But again, she's just kind of there for, like, two episodes, and then she's gone. And it's just like, okay. Um, and again, kind of just shows up towards the end. And it's just kind of weird to me. Um, what else? Oh, I gotta say, okay. So Mabel has, has the friend, and I can't remember the friend's name in the first season it comes to her like her boyfriend he's just gone in this season i don't know if the actor had other obligations i don't know if the actor just didn't want to do it i don't know what happened with that i need to do some research on that because it's weird like it's just literally like yeah he left and it's like oh, oh okay and i get it he thought that mabel maybe had murdered someone but still he went to prison for being wrongfully accused of a murder wouldn't he be, like, more wanting to ask her, did you do it, blah, 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 I, something? I don't know. It just kind of felt weird that he was just gone. Um, what else can I say about this season? It, it just felt a little messier. I will say that. It felt 
just a little mess here. Um, there's a lot focus here with, um, I can't remember Martin Short's name in the show. I can remember Maybell. I can't remember Steve Martin's character, actually, either. Oliver, that's his name. I want to say it's Oliver. Um, Oliver with his son that was touching and such. Um, but it just, again, it's just kind of one of those things where it kind of just felt like it was thrown in here. Um, and I kind of get what it was going for, I guess. Um, yeah. I, I, overall, I was just kind of... I don't know. I was kind of disappointed with the second season. Um, I really wanted to know who the killer was. And then by the end, I was like, eh. I just don't understand. The motivation just isn't that there for me. Um, and, you know, it wasn't quite as funny this time around. Um, the twists and turns weren't quite so great this time around. There was just a lot thrown into this season that I, I didn't love particularly. Um... I'm excited for this third season. Um, I know Meryl Streep comes into the fold. Um, Paul Rudd shows at the end of the second season um, into the third. Um, so I'm interested to see how that plays out. Um, so I'll definitely be watching the third season. And I think I heard it was just... I heard that it was renewed for a fourth season. So I'll be excited to watch. Um, and I'll be excited to watch live. I don't know, is this a weekly show? Or is this all at once show? Um... I'll be interested to see. Um, this show, thankfully, has some recaps towards the beginning, so I don't have to fully remember everything, and I can go on YouTube and just get a refresher. Because that's always my problem with, with these um, TV shows. So, overall, a slightly less likable season. It's still not a bad show, but there was a lot thrown at it here. And a lot of things that just felt very convenient to me. Um, it just didn't quite stack up the way that the, the first season did. And the twists and turns just didn't quite feel there for me. And I, I would have liked a little bit more, I guess, uh, I could say, I can say, um, overall, I'll give it like, I don't know. I'll still give it like a seven out of 10. I just, I had so much fun with, it. I love these characters so much, um, and as someone that does like some true crime kind of stuff, I don't necessarily listen to true crime podcasts, but I do like true crime kind of stuff. Um, you know, it, it was fun to watch in that aspect, and I just love these characters obsessing over these things. So, um, yeah, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's still really enjoyable. It's still a show I think everyone should check out. It's, it's a fun time if you like, um, you know, like the true kind of true crime kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, 7 out of 10 for me. Um... Yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. I think you'll be watching this on Sunday. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You might watch it on Monday. I don't know yet. I don't know if my schedule, with me having my three days off during the week, I kind of just have to sh shove everything into to this because my other days are literally like 11-hour days. I would start, I go to, I leave for work at 9.35 or 10.35 in the morning, and I don't get home till about 10.15 at night. So, yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have yourself a great day, whatever day it is, and uh, stay awesome, and uh, I will see you uh, next time.